So as you can see, I bought a lab loom. Um, I had some gift cards from the yarnery and I decided to go and buy one of these bad boys last night. Um, I first was inspired to start weaving after watching one of my favorite YouTube channels, Isabel Page. She is like a lifestyle vlog um, and she lives in the mountains in Washington. She does a little bit of weaving and have made just like garments out of pieced together um, panels that she's woven and I just really like the simplicity of it and that's kind of what I plan to do as well. So I've been really wanting to make some throw pillows for my couch that are very like neutral, warm tone colors. Um, and I wanted them to be woven, so that's actually what I'm making right now. My plan is to make just um, a couple panels of woven material and then sew them together side by side and then do the same thing on the back side. I really like the look when um, a pattern on like a sweater or a pillow goes all the way around um, as compared to just being on one side and then the back side being just fabric. So I'm going to have the weaving be on both sides of the pillows. I also plan on covering up an old lumbar pillow that I have that's just gotten really just dirty from the dogs. And there's no way to remove the pillow case to wash it, so I'm just going to cover it up with a darker color like this by sewing panels of the weaving on it. And maybe I'll add some fringes in the corner. I haven't quite decided yet, but so far so good. I really like the simplicity of using this loom, especially because I'm just starting out. Um, I didn't want to invest in anything major yet, but um, yeah, I like it. And speaking of just not investing too much into it, I did buy some more Lion Brand yarn, which is very affordable. I think this was like maybe $12.99 for this big ball. Um, it's a chunky weight yarn and it's from the um, respun line that they have, which is 100% recycled polyester. So I just didn't want to spend too much on really nice materials if I'm not good at it or if I didn't like it. But um, yeah, so I think this will do for now. I did end up buying two other colors as well in the more worsted weight. And um, I think the colors are going to go really nicely together, so I will go ahead and show you what I got. Here's the first one that I bought, the chunky weight, that I'm using right now to make a pillow. And then I also got the worsted weight in this tan slash golden color. And then I also got the same one in this like super light tan, darker cream color. I thought these three colors would look nice together as pillows on my couch. So I'm excited to see where it goes and maybe any other types of patterns that I make with it along the way.
if you follow me on Instagram, which by the way is at brookwillow underscore, you will see that I finally have another finished object. Um, this one I made for Mitch and it is the Strand Who's Pullover by Veta Velveta and she made this pattern for wool folk yarn. So here it is in all its glory. There's the back side as well. Um, so yeah, just a classic fisherman's sweater that I started last June, so I'm very happy to finally have it off of the needles so I can focus on other projects moving forward. Um, the reason it took so long is because I made so many other projects in the meantime and I just had too many whips and I wasn't getting any of them done. But here we go, this one's finally done. I ended up using Lion Brand's yarn and in the Fisherman's Wool, it turned out super nice. I really like it. I like the fabric too. I feel like it's going to be very durable, especially for Mitch's active lifestyle. And I will say he's very knit worthy. The other sweater that I made for him, um, he wears it at least once a week. And so I know he's going to be wearing this one all the time when he's out riding his bike or like playing hockey or whatever. Um, I did have to make some weird modifications. So if you plan on making this sweater for anyone that's shorter than like 6'3", I would proceed with caution because this is a bottom-up sweater, so you can't try anything on in the process of making it. You have to sew it all together at the end. But um, the thing that I got a little frustrated about was the fact that um, it had me knit to a certain length, not like 80 rows. It said knit to like, I don't know, 31 inches or whatever. But... I did that and then I blocked the fabric and the fabric didn't grow at all and um, by the time I finished and sewed everything together I realized it was way too long. It went like down past my butt and we're the same height so I could measure myself very well. So what I ended up having to do was gather all of the fabric up and sew it together. I hope I explained this right. Um, so this was about six inches longer and I like folded the fabric on the inside and sewed the pre-existing ribbing to where I wanted it to be and then that created like a big fold under here. I then did a zigzag stitch on my sewing machine and then cut off all of the excess fabric. So you can kind of see where I made that modification. Um, it was kind of scary doing it, but in the end I'm really happy I did because it made it the length that I wanted it to be. Otherwise it would have just been way too bulky and long. But yeah, very happy to have this off the needles and just so excited to move on to future projects now. It's a very gray snowy day out today so um, I lit all the candles in the house and I'm just sitting amongst my plants, which I guess you can't really see in the frame, and also snuggling with the boys who are right here. I think you can see Marshall right here, but yeah, we're having a super cozy day, just full of fiber crafts. Um, now that I have that finished object off my needles that I was working on for so long, I am able to now pick up the K-Facet carpet coat again in hopes of just focusing on this until I complete it. But just to remind you where I'm at, I have 
the most of the back panel done and I'm now knitting on the sleeves which kind of come off to the sides but yes I'm still very much in love with this and hope to get it done soon so I can actually wear it because I'm coming up on almost one year since I started making this, but yeah. I do have plans to make something else that I'll cast on very soon here. I feel like, um, yes, I'm trying to knit monogamously on one project, however, this project is so big and requires so much yarn that I need to not bring it with me if I'm like driving somewhere. I don't knit and drive at the same time, but like if I get to work early, I like to sit in the parking lot and just work on something, but I don't want to bring all of this to work on in my car. So I think I'm going to make a balaclava, which I think will be really nice, especially for when I'm walking the dogs at night because it just like covers my neck and all around. I mean, you know what a balaclava is. <laughs> but I did just purchase a pattern through Rose, I think is the name. I'll put it right here. But I was going to get the petite knit pattern, um, which is really cute, but this other one by Rose is also just as cool and they're a smaller brand right now so I figured why not just buy the one from the smaller brand versus the well established one nothing against petite knit she puts out awesome patterns but yeah I'm excited to make this other one um, I'll put a picture here of what it looks like and I do plan on using the leftovers of the yarn that I made Mitch's sweater with. Um, I have a whole skein leftover and I didn't save the receipt so I just I'm not gonna return it. I may as well make a balaclava out of it because I think the colors will look nice with my skin tone and my hair. They're just like a light neutral color goes with everything but yeah so that's my immediate knitting plans and this is my current whip that I am mainly focusing on. In the last episode that I posted I talked about all of the sewing plans that I had um, which seemed like I have a lot that I'm going to make in a short amount of time but before I move on to those plans I am sewing my friend the same exact dress that I made, the Zero Waste Gather Dress by Brigitta Thomerson. So yes, I'm making the exact same dress for my friend and I showed you the fabric in the last episode, but I just wanted to catch you up on how far I got. I've really been taking my time with it. I think I got into like a weird mindset where like if I started sewing something I needed to finish it day of which is ridiculous like why do I feel like I need to do that so I've been taking this one in steps so I got the top portion of it done so here's the sleeves I also did this sleeve hack on her dress as well, the same one that I did for mine. So here it is. It'll open up and have buttons here and then I just need to obviously sew on the skirt portion of it but I just wanted to catch you up on where I'm at with my sewing plans. I've been trying to go to thrift stores to find old towels for the matching towel set that I told you guys I wanted to make last time, but I haven't really had good luck finding any more towels yet. I'm obviously not going to give up because I'm still very excited about the idea and want to um, 
make it. So I'm going to keep going. I think there's one thrift store that I'm going to check out near me that uh, I was told has a lot of towels. So there's still hope to get it in time for my Florida trip. My yarn did arrive for the camisole number five that I wanted to make by My Favorite Things Knitwear. Um, and I'm just in love with it. I'll go grab it really quick so you can see it. Okay, I keep sitting on Kevin. Okay, so here is the linen yarn from, also from Line Brand. I swear I'm not sponsored. Um, <laughs> I just keep buying from them lately. But yes, so it's a big cone of 100% linen in this nice, like, terracotta color, which I think will just look lovely on a camisole and go with everything that I own. I haven't really gotten any more acquisitions other than that and the yarn that I got for the pillows, so that's all I really have to show you all. Um, so I guess we can just leave it at that. I'm going to keep working on this K-Facet cardigan today and probably work a little more on the lap loom. And then I have another virtual hangout with my friends tonight. So I'll probably continue to craft through that as well. But I just wanted to say thanks again for hanging out with me today as I craft on this snowy day. It's always a pleasure to make videos and I love all the feedback that I get from you all and the great conversations we have together. So until next time, bye.